So here we go, on part two of Ascension on Conquest. Uh, what happened? Oh yeah, I uh, just tried to crawl into an attic to knife P Dan, and he rightly gave me an SMG to the face. So I'm back with a vengeance. Instant headshot on that guy. And unfortunately, my vengeance doesn't last very long because I get mortar strikes pretty much in exactly the same spot I got mortar strike before. So that's not going too well for me right now. Two quick deaths in perfect alignment, so yeah, not happy about that. But I've got to keep on pushing this flag with the salts. It's got the range to deal with it up the road. Now here, I, I knew that I couldn't really kill that guy in time, so I might as well go for the knife kill. I noticed that guy had an F2000. I quite like F2000, so I'll pick that up. If nothing else, I just like the noise it makes. They have quite a big drain on ammo as well, so that's not too brilliant. Always having to reload with these things. It takes people down quick, yeah, but... Trying to get more than three kills per clip is just an achievement in itself. You always seem to be using 30 bullets to take people down. There, I kind of grenaded myself. A bit unlucky. I happened to fire the grenade just as I went past the post. Oh well. After a bit of lag. Yeah. It's always good to get in an elevated position and shoot down because it just seems much more easier to shoot down on people than it is for them to shoot up at you. Plus you get a uh, better field of fire as well and you can see further and all kinds of advantages. Plus you have somewhere to jump down to if you don't want to be there. I'm quite amazed I didn't get a kill for either of those. I put so many bullets in each of those guys. But uh, we got the assist anyway so it doesn't really matter. And here's an example of where the F2000 just eats ammo. I've only killed like 3-4 guys now, and I'm already completely out of ammo pretty much. So now I've either got to find an extra kit, or find some ammo. So, I don't really feel like using a spec kit, so I'm going for the ammo crate here. And I'll continue using the F2000. Ah, I see the uh, SMG there, take someone down. I heard the SMG before I saw it, so I backed off and let him run up to the uh, where he was. I'm being hit by a sniper, so I just wait for him to come around. He was hitting me with a, uh, a rapid fire sniper rifle, so I wasn't scared of quick scopes. All I need to do is just wait for him to come to me, on full health, of course. Quite a lot of reloading and stuff in it, just restocking. And now we move back up. Here I see a shotgun guy coming towards me. I'm pretty panicking, not quite sure what to do. I managed to get the grenade off and we kill each other. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to run away and get shot in the back or just charge in maybe for a knife. Either way, I was probably going to be doomed anyway, so... What can you do? Now I'll go to spawn here. And... Yeah... That's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. But anyway, moving on. I think what was happening there is Benzilla was away, and uh, he doesn't want to be kicked through inactivity, so he just set his controller to go around in a circle, and then he kind of had little disciple thinking it's funny following him around. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I'm being picked apart by something up there, so I'm desperately hugging cover with my health stick. I did a dodge back there just to dodge the incoming sniper bullet. It seemed to do the trick. Now here, it is inconceivable that I actually managed to lose this guy. It's an epic chase around this house, and he manages to get away from me. I couldn't believe it. In fact, I couldn't believe it so much I get a little bit disorientated here. So many uh, bullets and everything flying around. 
everyone's on my left just there. I'm thinking of surprising through the wall. But there's so many red dots around. I don't know where to shoot. And I get shot through the window. That's quite a long range shot for a shotgun. But not really much you can do about it. Is it a little bit too late for all those guys on their team really? Because we've pretty much won this match. And uh, this sniper up here is just going to be complete bait. That's not a good spot. <laughs> You want to be hidden if you're a sniper. And that's the end of the match. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, uh, I have absolutely no intention of giving two different uh, versions of the same map on Conquest like I do with the Gold Rush because, in my opinion, it's pretty much exactly the same. However, I'm going to make an a, a exception on this one just because this next match was so crazy and random. I thought I'd just throw it in here for a bonus. So with the Americans this time, US team. So this assault. First things first, everyone just runs in for the car, so that's cool. Apart from that guy, he got left behind, so it sucks for him. See ya. And it sucks for us, because there are other big vans coming down the road. Grenade launcher completely misses, so that's a really poor shot. A tree actually lands on me there and almost blocks me from going anywhere. So I almost died to a tree right there. I come in this room and I see another guy burst through the door there. So I want his XM8. I should kill him, take his XM8. I wasn't really looking, but that guy comes out of nowhere. And there's another one. I'm down to literally one health. So that made me completely panic. But I got my XM8, so that's good. See everyone just running on down there. Maybe if I can get one or two bullets in them, I can spot them, and that'll make me a lot easier to pick them off as I come in here. I'm surprised that knife missed, but there's even more guys coming in there. I thought he went outdoor, he didn't, he went upstairs, so I'm waiting for him to come down. There's a grenade there. I pull out my health stick to try and heal myself, expecting the grenade to hit me, but it doesn't. I hear the footsteps, I try and lash out, but he's not there. He's actually still on the stairs. And I can't believe I actually survived that. Okay, I go down to a uh, fire there, but the SMG to the face, when I miss, missed that first knife, I just couldn't believe it. And that was a guy called P-Dan as well. He was the guy who uh, I tried to get a funny knife kill on the first part in the attic and he rinsed me, so... That guy's not having too much of a brilliant match right now. And we get into this base, and there's a guy just sitting in the back of the car, and me and Benzilla just can't quite figure it out, and he's looking at me, we're looking at him, we're like, okay... So we just go on a little pleasure drive, and the guy's in the back, like, spinning around happily like a dog or something. Yeah, like a, one of those dogs and they bark at incoming traffic. And then Benzilla takes a screenshot, which lags us out, so we're going to go crashing into a building. But that's not the best thing to do. That's a spec ops, just avoiding everybody, and because we're lagging out, we can't really shoot him. Then he throws a C4 blows himself up and then he blows up the C4 that we didn't see that the guy in the back had. So he gets absolutely no kills, in fact he gets minus kills for killing himself and he gets none of those kills at all. That's weird for him. There goes a van which I haven't seen before. He runs over P-Dan. He's really not having a good match. So I decided just to ignore it and just, just hold the base like I usually do. Now, when you're trying to get up hills like that, it's, you can sometimes get up there just by sprinting and jumping. It's kind of 50-50 whether it works or not. Didn't that time. See, those are dots just running around, so it's time to start blowing up their cover. They really don't have many guys left. I think this is their last flag, so this is their last stand. That guy gets hit by a car. That was P-Dan again getting shot with the 50 cal through the window. There's a guy up here, I figured he'd be behind there. I'm surprised the grenade didn't kill him. But then he C4s himself. And that was officially their last guy. So whether that was on purpose, trying to kill himself or what, I have no clue. But that was one of the weirdest matches I've probably ever had. So uh, stay tuned for more weird ones soon, maybe.